Hi everyone, peace to you. I'm just sitting near the um, uh, royal castle, so um, the royal castle is on my right hand side. Now I'm sitting exactly on the place where is the Gothic uh, bridge, but I'm willing to speak to you um, something about the pla and the, this uh, um, exactly um, open space between the column of the Zygmuntus III Vasa and the uh, church of St. Anna. So if we consider the perspective of the history, during the times of Zygmuntus III Vasa, uh, Warsaw has been changed a lot. Zygmunt III Vasa, the Polish-Swedish king, uh, was very a very religious person and he was also very um, responsible and he felt very responsible for development of um, Catholic religion within Poland. So he built, for example, one church um, near to this place where we are sitting. So on Świętojańska Street there is a um, Jesuit church, Matki Boże Łaskawe, so it's one of the churches that you, that you should for sure see and I hope that I will show you um, a bit of it, this church um, soon and if we consider the place which which should be in my background but actually it's nothing here um, so it's the second church, it's Santa, Santa Clara so it's this, the church was a part of um, it, belong, it was the church that belonged to nuns because nearby uh, you still see in my background the church of Santa Anna so it was the Bernardin's church and uh, it was um, deeply connected with the church of Santa Clara because here you had Bernardin's in Santa Anna and nearby in Santa Clara you had nuns and Ber also Bernardin's but nuns so from the same um, from the same monastery so if we consider where, we can ask ourselves where exactly is this building because it was built in 16th century but exactly right now between the Zygmuntus the third Vasa which you don't see actually but uh, and the, and the church of Santa Anna you don't see anything. It's obvious, yes it's true because um, this church was destroyed um, by the um, Russians. It was. Um, uh, they, they just decided to destroy this building in 1848 actually because they wanted to clear the whole area uh, in front of the royal castle here nearby uh, if you consider the royal castle you had a lot of um, workshops stables and all of the um, houses that are necessary to for the ruin for the ruling kings but in if in 19th century uh, poland was ruined by by, uh, was ruined and ruled by uh, Russians, uh, so uh, Russians, Austrians and Prussians, but actually Warsaw is, was ruled by Russians. Mm, so mm, they decided to clean the whole area because it's what actually it was completely unnecessary to have those buildings in front of the, the royal castle. They destroyed the wall, they destroyed the, mm, the Gothic uh, bridge, the, the, all of those buildings that you had here. And they also decided to destroy the church of Santa Clara mm, and they did as, as, they, as they have made it. So after, after um, this, let's say, 1848, the whole, uh, the whole area was completely plain open and you had nothing there. In the beginning of 20th century you had um, here the tram line. It was going exactly from the most Kierbeja, so it was going to, to the Prague, Warsaw Prague, so Praga. Um, so you had the bridge, you had the tram line and it was going directly between the, uh, the Zygmuntus III Vasa and the uh, Santa Anna Church. And after, they, they were also willing to, for example, to build here um, the, um, the, the, not the, the tram, but um, actually the, um, the line of trains. But the, they didn't, it, didn't do this because the train line would be too huge exactly in this area and hopefully and luckily it's, it was not built in this place, we are lucky. But right now you don't see anything in this place. So you, it's not only if you come coming here, you, you should not only think how uh, why, why it's it's you've got the royal castle and the, the area in front of it and it's nearby and it's exactly almost the same huge area um, near the Santa Anna Church. It's because it was destroyed. The church it was, which was standing here was smashed the ground. And there is no sign of being here if you are coming here exactly. So it's good to know that we we had many churches, but some of them, for example, like this one, 
um, where uh, like right now there is nothing left but the history of the religion of Poland it's worth if we consider the history of the religion and history of war so we should know exactly something more about this place because it's Mm -hmm. It's deeply connected with Zygmunt III Vaza, so the guy who is standing on this statue nearby. So he actually founded the church. It's not it. It was which was here, and it's actually right now there is nothing left. So it's good to know it. If you are coming here, just try to find this place. It's a cool challenge, but it's from this perspective you will for sure see it. So let's see in the next episode. Peace to you and bye.